Alright guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Uh, coming back at you with another video. Um, really, probably not going to be doing much. Um, I did take apart this, or take this Y pipe out. And <clears throat> I'm thinking that the collectors are gonna be the wrong size you see I got stuff I just been cleaning boxes trash man comes today <clears throat> so here's the gaskets for the white pipe I just purchased and uh, come here this was the Frankenstein one I was building um, anyway these are the stock collectors or the collectors for the headers and as you can see, don't don't think that that's going to work. So there's a bolt hole lined up, and the other two. So I could have sworn that the the white pipe I purchased said three inch, but all it did was say three. Um. But yeah, anyway, I don't know. And then, uh, I tried looking for the, my parts, the gaskets, I don't know where I put them. They're somewhere on this mess, in this mess. So, um, looking for them in this box, because I put everything in this box. All the nuts and bolts and everything for the, Exhaust are in this box. Um, I just don't know where the gaskets are. So, first and foremost, I'm probably gonna have to clean up this mess uh, to find what I need. Um, what I ended up doing is taking apart, uh, taking apart this this Y pipe. I didn't really take it apart; it was in two pieces. But I took this ring off this collector flange whatever you want to call it off and was going to basically start ready get ready to cut these off I was gonna cut that one off and cut that one off and then uh, cut those off of my Frankenstein Y pipe focus focus come on forward focus uh, I was going to take those collectors off and basically just match them up. I was just going to cut them that big. And then uh, this collector flange piece fell off and I said, well, let me measure these gaskets. And what do you know? All they did was send me the wrong size gasket. Two and a half inch gaskets. So. So we got a direct bolt on for the headers. Um, I put it up against that, and it matches matches pretty good. Other than uh, my Frankenstein build, uh, it's got a different angle to it. So take this, and if we put it up and put it straight. And then this is straight. You can see those two angles pretty much match. And those angles pretty much match. Only thing is, is that this Frankenstein, I've made a, a real Y pipe. And uh, I have to check to make sure this is even going to work. Uh, because the whole four wheel drive contraption and everything. And they are the same. <laughs> With, for the most part, that can come out a little bit more because that's just a slip um, right there. So, um, I'm going to clean the toolbox. I'm going to clean that off, put all the tools away, and uh, try to find those gaskets. If not, if I can't find them, which I should be able to, AutoZone sells them. I think they're like 10 bucks. 
for a set. And then uh, I'll just have the guy that I bought that Y pipe from. He'll just I'll just tell him to reimburse me ten bucks. But I should be able to find it. Oh, maybe they're up here. Bing! I knew they were where I put them. All right, here we go. Okay, so there you go. Let me just open, open one. Found them. So here we go. As you can see, that matches a lot better than what they sent me. So, <laughs> anywho, so I'm just going to use these gaskets, obviously. Um, that flange is going to go in there. This little chingadera is going to go there. No, I don't want to weld it. I'm sick of welding. I hate welding. Um, this white pipe is pretty awesome. <laughs> I think it would have been better to have that, but... As you can see, I got all this welding and crap to get all those angles. So, um, I don't remember there being an O2 sensor on that side. You can see. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, that's funny. You got a bunch of filler in there. Big old rods. Um... <laughs> Whatever is what it is, <laughs> but uh, did better than I could do. Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna clean my toolbox and then uh, try to jack the truck up and put this white pipe on there. So let me go ahead and do that and uh, yeah. So a little little mess up on the. This company's part, I can't remember, Flowtech, Revtech, I can't remember what they're called. A uh, little mess up on their part. No big deal, because thankfully the headers came with uh, collector gaskets. And, uh, yeah, so that'll, you know, that'll just be next week's video, or next, the next video was be me installing them on the Project Crack Pipe. Uh, it is out of gas, I have to get some fuel for it front tires low I want to go drive that truck um, I'm gonna put that on and then I'm gonna put the cut the muffler off <clears throat> show you the muffler uh, put that on and then we'll put this uh, this little flow master muffler on there I got some pipe um, I might have to go get a collector, a little, uh, I don't know, that looks like three inch. So maybe three inch to two inch or two and a half to three inch. Or maybe, I don't know, or maybe just need three inch pipe. Uh, but yeah, because that looks, that looks three inch right there. So that is three inch. <clears throat> that right there is three inch. So I probably just need to get some three inch pipe and uh yeah do some do something kind of cool weld the collector on there i'm not doing that so that'll be next video guys um as of right now i'm just cleaning the garage cleaning up all the crap these are my old wheel bearings uh, stay tuned for another video if you have um uh, abs basically in your front where your Chevy, Dodge, Toyota, if you have ABS sensors, you're going to do brakes. I'm going to show you guys how you guys can grease your wheel bearings to prevent them from failure to keep the heat off. So that'll be two videos from now. Next video will be installing the white pipe, and then the following video will be that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. i got a mess to clean up. Yay me. Subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Later.